All right, welcome to the App Nexus Summit here in San Francisco. Great job, house band, that's the house jacks. As you can tell, we're innovating in every aspect today. I heard that the new outfit for the CEO in Silicon Valley was the hoodie. So I'm innovating. Today it's the tuxedo. That's right. Now, today I want everybody here to tweet. I've got a new theory of Twitter. Actually, it's the only theory of Twitter. Twitter is for narcissists. So I tweet about myself, and I tweet about how drunk I am. And last night, I saw a lot of both at our party. Now, so today, since you're here, you can tweet about yourself, and I hope you're not drinking. Uh, our hashtag is AppNexusSummit, and we'd love to hear you talk with the public world about either one of those two topics. Now, also, for many of you, you know I'm a big Foursquare fan. I woke up very early this morning so I could be the mayor. Now, if you all check in right now, you can check in with the mayor. And if we all check in, we can have a swarm, and we get two extra points. Still not sure what those points are good for, but check in right now, and you can have them. Uh, it's App Nexus Summit, San Francisco 2012. Today's only a half-day session. Uh, we asked for feedback last time, and you said we want more time for networking, less time for content, which I took sort of personally. Um, but we'll have a 30-minute session uh, for networking right in the middle, and then we'll be done around 12.30 for lunch. So, why are we here today? I said it already, it's innovation. So, how many of you think that ad tech is as good as it could possibly be? Anybody? <laughs> well, don't forget, we have new rising stars ad units. Not only are they bigger, no, they're just bigger. Um, <laughs> So I think we're not quite done. I think there's still a lot of innovation to do. And so, you know, since we started this company back in 2007, we've been thinking about this. When we started the company, um, I started it for one reason. After we sold Right Media to Yahoo, my phone kept ringing. People kept saying to me, Brian, I really want to do this really cool idea on top of Right Media. How do I do it? And I kept saying, you can't. And after about three of those phone calls, I said, you know what? It's time to start a new company where people can actually do what they want to do on top. And that's AppNexus. Let me give you a good example of that. Last November, we had our very first client advisory board. We said to 20 or so of you, we said, come sit in a room, tell us all the things we could do differently. And we said, what should we do next? Any, any ideas of what everyone in the room said? Apps, no, that was, we announced that later. Video, that's right. Almost every single CEO in the room said video. Now we said, but you know, video is very premium, it's hand sold, it's not ready for the kind of transactional technology that we build. And everyone in the room said, you're wrong. Microsoft said, hey, did you know we're the number two video publisher in the US? And we said, no, we didn't know that. Collective said, did you know we have this massive video business that we've put a lot of investment into? No, didn't know that either. And it turns out that video actually was ready for the kind of transactional environment we're talking about. Uh, videos become much more programmatic. We've seen exchanges launch. We've seen buy side and sell side players. And it turns out that video really is ready for the mainstream. And you asked us to build you a platform that could do both video and display in one seamless place. So today, six months later, I'm proud to announce AppNexus Video. Today, you'll be able to buy and sell video from within the AppNexus console and, of course, through all of our APIs. Our launch partner for this is Brightroll. We've worked with them for over a year to make sure we did all the integration in a very video-friendly way. So you'll be able to buy all of the Brightroll inventory here. And over the next few weeks, we'll be announcing more partners like YouTube 
uh, so you can access almost all the video inventory from the AppNexus platform. This would be a great moment to tweet. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Now, one more big thing we did at that summit in November is we launched our apps platform. Now, this was a big deal. No one had ever tried to build an app platform on top of an ad tech business before. And to be honest with you, we were a little bit nervous. We were asking for all of these companies in this ecosystem, many of you, to do some work, to integrate into our APIs, make it so that our mutual clients would have a seamless experience, just like they do on the iPhone or other devices. The truth is, you can't just go do some handshake deals with 100 different companies and call that an app platform. That's just business. What we're talking about here is something that really goes beyond that and integrates the best that you have to offer with a very powerful, scalable platform. And so I'm very proud to tell you that over the past six months, we've seen a ton of adoption. You have done a great job building on top of this. And this is not just rinky-dink startup companies. These are market leaders in almost every aspect of this space. Later on today, you're going to see demos of a couple of these apps that have been built. And uh, Ari Papera will be talking about some of the continued work we've done. Our apps platform continues to evolve and get better. And I think this is another great example of how we're fostering this innovation around the, app, the ad tech ecosystem. Now, it's not just all of you who have great ideas. Um, some of our employees actually started to build their own apps. Some of our client services folks were saying, hey, my clients are struggling with this. I'm going to build an app so they can do what they want to do. And in classic AppNexus fashion, we said, well, it's time for a contest. Why don't we have a contest and see who can build the best app? Anybody here heard of a, a hackathon? Hackathons are great. You have pizza, you have beer, you get everybody in an office, and I actually don't know what happens after that. But <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, there's lots of pizza and beer. So we said, well, if you can do a hackathon, we have this great app platform. Why don't we have an appathon? So a few weeks ago, we had an appathon, and the best part was the winning app would get built. We'd put it into the product and actually make it part of the AppNexus offering. Here it is. A couple months ago, we announced our app platform, and today we're getting everyone across the company behind building sample applications. It's really just the excitement and enthusiasm we like to focus on, and these hackathons are a great way to bring our company together. We have a really cool variety of skills here. I think we pulled together a great team. We get six hours to do the whole thing. It's stressful, but we're, we're a good team. It's fun to try to see how much you can do in six hours and throw away all rules around process and controls and just build great, innovative technology. When you've got really motivated people who want to take a, an afternoon to create something, they can work wonders. I'm hiding it well, but I'm pretty stressed out, and I know Elijah over there is exploding. I think the hackathon brings out the competitive spirit in everyone. We all compete, we share ideas. I'm not really scared of other teams because I know that we are the best and brightest in our room. It's fun because we're kind of stepping outside of our everyday jobs. Our team name is Straight Cash, homie, oh. and we're winning at 6 p.m. I'm not stressed about time crunch. We're going to present, I believe, to the rest of the company and give a little demo, which hopefully will be working by then. In the end, I think we'll all win. A real focus on innovation, and it's representative in everything our company does, but this gives us a chance to have real value provided in projects that are really kind of out there and different and come from everyone around the company. Anyone can compose something and get together and work on it. This cross-functional kind of collaboration, I think, is at the essence of who we are as a company. We really strive to act together in kind of cohesive units that can deliver the best results for our customers. So on the, the day of the Appathon, I had to go home early. I ran home to play with my daughter. And uh, so I was, well, my, 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 my wife might be watching, so don't listen to this. But I was sneaking glances at my iPhone just to see what was happening. And around uh, maybe 5.30, I got this uh, press release. And I was like, wow, 
You know, we launched this incredible thing, this press release, uh, Liftologist. So not only did they build it, I guess we launched it and did a press release. When I said we were gonna build it, I was thinking like in a few weeks or maybe a month, not today. Um, turns out it was a hoax. They were trying to influence the judges by showing them how great this was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably why I should have gone to the judging as opposed to reading on my phone. Um, but it gives you a great example of just how easy it is to build an incredible app. And the winning app was uh, environmental targeting. Uh, you saw it just for a second in that video. So you could target when the, the temperature went up or down, when it rained, when it snowed. Um, so if you have a golf course and you want to do advertising, we've got the app for you. Um, so yeah, so this is exactly how we're fostering innovation inside AppNexus. And you will see that app in the App Store relatively soon. So you're innovating, we're innovating. But there's something missing. I don't know how many of you have been following the Luma chart. Um, I watch it every day. Um, it doesn't change, but I watch it. And um, <laughs> so one thing I've noticed is that it's just not changing all that much. Over the past 18 months or so, we've sort of got our fixed set of boxes. There's not a whole lot of room for white space, for new innovation in this ecosystem. And part of the reason is that it takes, in many cases, tens of millions of dollars to really start a great ad tech company. Whereas if you look in the social sphere, there's these agile startups that just take a few hundred thousand dollars and you can just have a great idea, throw it out there, see if it works, and if it doesn't, you can iterate. In ad tech, iteration is called failure. Because um, <laughs> you've already put so much time and energy and money that you just can't really pivot once you've gotten somewhere. And so I thought, you know, we've got this platform, we've got these APIs, we've got these hooks for apps, you can access every major source of supply, now in both video and display, We've got almost every major bidder in the world buying through the platform. Would make sense to me for all these startups to build on top of AppNexus. And they could then you know, have most of those components available to them when they start their companies. So I went to our sales team and I said, guys, why don't we have more startups working on the AppNexus platform? And uh, you know, the sales guy said, well, it's about the same work to sell and to implement a big multinational company as it is to implement a small startup. And you know, we'd rather get the big money from the big multinationals than these small guys. Um, so I said, well, what would it take to actually go support all of these new startups? And so today, I'd like to announce AppNexus Accelerate, a program to actually help startups build on top of the AppNexus platform. So first off, lower qualification criteria. And this may sound funny, but I can't tell you how many VCs and startups call me saying, Brian, can I please have a contract? And, and so now we're gonna make it easy. We're gonna let any startup who wants to build on top of the platform do so. We're also, yeah, we got a woo. That's one woo. That's good. Um, so make it easy to get a contract, get it easy to go. It's two from the same guy, that doesn't count. It's like you can't check in at the same place twice. No. Thanks, guys. That's good. So also, easier access to support. We're actually going to staff people whose job is to help all of these folks. We have people dedicated to building apps and dedicated to using the platform. We're going to add support just for these startups. And we're going to build a community and make it really easy to do. Uh, and I think by our summit in November, we're going to have the first couple of App Nexus Accelerate companies up here on stage, well, the stage in New York, to actually show off what they've built and how they're using this platform. And Terry, if you're out here, I'd love to see a new little box that we can build between now and then. So that's AppNexus Accelerate. Thank you. So to summarize, we've got innovation everywhere here today. Um, we're, we're listening to you. We're innovating around what you ask us to do. We're building a platform that, that lets others innovate. We, we're helping our employees innovate. And we're going to help a bunch more startups innovate. 